Good afternoon, my beautiful people on the internet. Andrew here. And guys, I have a simple question for you guys. I have a simple goddamn question. What in fuck's name did they do to the Waterloo Wendy's? Because this looks like absolute 100% trash. Like, this is not even fucking funny. What did they do to this place? They absolutely destroyed it. This used to be such a special restaurant and they completely annihilated it. And I mean completely 100% annihilated it. What? The absolute fuck. Why is the goddamn drive through window blue? Sorry guys, camera crapped out, but why the fuck is the drive through window blue? Why the fuck is the drive through window blue? And there's the old drive through windows. Why didn't they just redo them? It looks so trashy. Looks like they kept the original Ponderosa roof back here. Because as you guys remember early on in the transition, they completely removed the roof on that section. Your anus, your shoulders. Which literally broke my heart. This must be the feeling of losing a firstborn son or something. This has to be the feeling of losing your firstborn. It looks so trashy. Like, holy fuck. Why did they keep the back like Ponderosa but completely read the front? I just don't get it. Just the fact that Wendy's once was a Ponderosa is just so cool, but... I was here during my last vlog, and I kid you not, I was literally sitting here for like a good 25, 30 minutes trying to figure out how this place is gonna work because it is so goddamn confusing. Like, I don't know what's supposed to be Wendy's, what's supposed to be the well. Why the hell is that blue? What's with all the blue shit? Like, what the fuck is going on here? This is just, this is painful. This is so goddamn painful. Oh, before I forget. Wonder if they're monitoring it right now. I don't know if you guys watched that vlog, but I was just walking around the property, doing my thing, and next thing you know, some la- Hey, why can I talk? You blew it. Some asshole on a loudspeaker is like, YOU ARE TRESPASSING! YOU HAVE BEEN RECORDED! Like, oh my god. I kid you not, clip right here, it was fucking ridiculous. What did they do to my baby? <sighs> you are trespassing. Please leave the area. This area is under video surveillance. 
Go fuck yourself! <laughs> I still think I am the reason they installed the security system because I may or may not have broken in. Not broken in, I just walked through a giant hole in the wall, but still. There's a difference between trespassing and breaking in. One is a lot worse. Trespassing might only get you a fine, at the very worst. A B and E, on the other hand, you're just fucked. Why is the goddamn drive-through window blue? Hopefully, that's some sort of insulation, but I don't know. Why did they do this to you? Nope. I don't know if that guy was stoned or something, but yeah, he was like, there's no stars in the sky. It's fucking 5 a.m. 5 a.m. God damn. You blew it. Andrew, it's 5 p.m. So why would there be? Oh. This blue shit might be a wrap because you can see it's peeling off a bit on that side. Hopefully it is because that looks so awful. Okay, let's figure this out. Let's figure this out. So I'm almost positive this center opening over there will be the door to Wendy's and that opening there will just be like a pickup center for the couriers and all that shit. Because, as you can see, the wood up there kind of resembles modern day Wendy's, and it looks like if they remove that blue shit, that's just gonna be gray. So I'm assuming that section's the well, which will go all the way into the back. That section is the Wendy's pickup center, and that section would be the entrance to Wendy's. What the fuck are you doing, buddy? And that section would be the entrance to Wendy's. Because I was so confused. Because look, if that's all Wendy's was, look how close the drive through window is to the front entrance. So that would be tiny. But yeah, the wood resembles Wendy's. So I'm assuming that big door thing will be the entrance to the Wendy's dining room where you'll actually be able to sit and relax and that's just a courier pickup and that section will be the well I might be wrong this is still absolutely destroying me but oh my god bitch this is absolutely destroying me Or maybe the big entrance will be the well. Or the big entrance might not be an entrance. It might just be a fucking window for the gay bar. Because as you guys can see, God damn it, this is destroying me. Oh, suck my cock. <coughs> but yeah, this is goddamn destroying me, guys. So yeah. Because all that's the Wendy's, it seems like, is the door in the first window so that's why I'm assuming that entrance and the second window will be Wendy's and all this will be the well because right there they could easily put that ugly ass Wendy's sign up there and what the fuck is going on here this is absolutely crazy it is absolutely breaking my mind and this sign is ugly as fuck I came here during my 666 vlog and I saw that they changed the sign and I was like so pissed. But, <laughs> oh my God, guys. You know what? I need fucking ice cream. Yeah, I'm gonna go to fucking Dairy Queen and get some ice cream. Then we can come back and contemplate the Wendy's movie.
Like, what in sweet fucking Jesus is going on? So yeah, that makes sense. The well has this different bluish or gray color. So that would be the well sign. And Wendy's would have the two entrances, one for a courier pickup and one for the dining room. And the drive through window looks like it's attached to the courier pickup section. Or the other option is, which is just literally painful to think about, there's going to be absolutely no seating. It's just going to be a takeout only Wendy's, which, oh my God, that would just hurt me. Not only did they rip away the most important thing in my life, they're not going to let me spend time in the new one. Like, oh, <laughs> oh my God, guys, that is... That would just be goddamn cruel. Gen 3 hybrid, beautiful. Close up. Gorgeous. So yeah, like I said in my last vlog, I was walking around there like a good 10 times just trying to figure out what the fuck was going on there because it was absolutely destroying my psyche. Viciously ripping out my heart. And I mean viciously ripping out my heart. And that is a giant motherfucking spoon. Wonderful. So welcome to the Waterloo Dairy Queen, guys. So please stand by and I'll be right back with you. Guys, this is fucking crazy. $10 for a goddamn blizzard? Like, what the fuck is going on with this world? They take away my Wendy's and charge me $10 for a fucking blizzard? I don't like this world I live in anymore. This is... This world is totally going down the crapper. And I do not appreciate it. So yeah. So let's walk back to Wendy's. So this will be my second from last construction update, I think. I want to do one right before it opens. Then, of course, we'll do the grand opening video. I don't know when I'll do a video at the well, but Wendy's is the main priority. Imagine if they didn't change it. If our retro Wendy's was still here, I wouldn't have to worry about updates and bullshit. I could just be sitting in there relaxing. But apparently, we're in a world that you have to pay $10 for blizzards and they take away everything you fucking love. So, yeah, bitch. Yeah, that blue shit definitely has to be some sort of wrap. Because it does look like it's peeling. If not, that would be so goddamn fucking ugly. Sorry guys, camera overheated, but yeah, bitch. <sighs> Let's try to eat this thing because I don't have my freaking tripod with me. Mm. Not worth $10, but still pretty fucking good. Jennifer 
hybrid, beautiful. Speaking of hybrids, I can't believe they took 8022 and my Wendy's away from me in the same year. That's just cruelty. That's just motherfucking cruelty. But yeah. The big boarded off section has to be an entrance for Wendy's. Because it's under the wooden Wendy's facade and everything. Last time I was here, all the shit wasn't there. It was still all the insulation crap. So it was really hard to tell. But now, now I'm getting the idea. Go fuck yourself, GoPro. Go fuck yourself. But yeah, last time I was here. <laughs> oh my God, choking on a peanut butter cup. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. You blew it. <laughs> oh my god, that was so embarrassing. But yeah, last time I was here, they didn't install the facade yet, so it was just all the insulation crap, so it was really hard to tell. I'm not positive about my theory, but I'm starting to think it's more likely. Who fucking knows, though? I am so tempted to ask the dude in there to let me in. With abandoned things, it's easy. You just have to wait for the homeless people to break in, then you just follow right behind them. I may or may not have a deal with the homeless people to get into these places. Alrighty guys, I am back. Mom just called, so yeah, bitch. <gasps> what the absolute fuck? Oh my God. Why is there so much fuckery on Weber today? Literally. I'm just trying to say goodbye to my Wendy's with my audience and everybody's fucking trying me. Really don't appreciate it. But guys, I was joking when I said I had an arrangement with the homeless people. I do not pay them to break into properties for me. I should. Because like I said, trespassing is a slap on the wrist. A B and E, that's more like them breaking your fucking kneecaps. This guy cost me ten dollars. It's fucking ridiculous. But yeah. Imagine though.
getting homeless people to break into shit for you. That is literally such a great idea. Two, 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 eight. Damn it. Not the lucky bus. Yeah. I guess that's like another insulation thing. <laughs> because the drive through's motherfucking blue. It's probably gonna be red. You know what color it should be? They should be located over there actually and look identical to what they did. Because they shouldn't have changed this place. Look how just looks so bad. They still look like motherfucking drive through windows, no matter how hard you try to change them. Like, are you fucking kidding me? This is. This is despicable. Squirrel. Where'd that bitch go? Ah, I went out of there. But yeah. I'm sorry, old girl. I didn't do enough to protect you. I didn't do enough to protect you. I am so sorry. So guys, I guess that is pretty much it for today's video. So if you like what you saw, please consider liking and subscribing. If you absolutely fucking hated it, there's a button down there for you too. And my friends, like always, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfuckers. <laughs>